Hello friends and welcome to infotainment. Well, here we'll see how to enable a dictionary in your Kindle book. Well, this is I'm using Kindle Oasis. So here it would be very much similar in all kinds of Kindle. So here what you have to do is just place these three dots in the right corner. Once you're in the home page, I'll show this is my home page. So here what you need to do is just press these three dots over here and you can see there is some something called settings. So the concept is you have to go to settings in whichever Kindle version you are in. So go to settings. So once you go to settings, you can see a lot of options coming over here. So here what you need to do is go to language and dictionaries. So here you can see these things will come language, keyboard, dictionaries, Chinese sort order or something like that. So you have to press on this dictionary, set the default dictionary for each language. So you have to go for dictionary and you can go for these things. If you are for the first time, you have not downloaded any dictionary, here an option will come to download dictionaries. So once you press on download dictionaries, a lot of option would come and go on downloading dictionary. Once you download dictionary, for example, if I go back, I want to show you my library here. So uh, for example, my library. So as you can see, there is a dictionary folder over here. For the first time, if you are using Kindle and you have not downloaded any dictionaries, then it will ask to download dictionary from Kindle itself. And you have to have some Wi-Fi to download those dictionaries. So I have downloaded the dictionaries here. If you want, you can see over here this dictionary folder and uh, you can further download uh, more dictionaries as well uh, from or in other languages if you want. For example, I have downloaded some dictionaries uh, like uh, this Oxford dictionary for English to English. If you want, you can download some other dictionaries. For example, this one, I think it's a Dutch dictionary. Just I, if I want to press it, you can see it is getting queued or it, it will be downloaded. So you can see 4% is downloaded. This is how you download dictionary for the first time. And once you download it, it will come up in your dictionary page. We'll wait for this. For example, 68%, 98% and it is complete, download is completed. So what I want to show you here is, I have downloaded this Dutch dictionary. I'll go back and uh, when I see, I go to my settings and when I go to languages and dictionary and if I open up this dictionary you can see this German dictionary has come in so since this is one dictionary only there is no arrow mark this has also got activated because I have downloaded it in Kindle I have downloaded a lot of dictionaries in English so there is an arrow mark coming so if I press here it will show me this number of dictionary like Oxford dictionary New Oxford American dictionary Merriam Webster I can choose which dictionary to enable out of this three so for now I have enabled this Oxford dictionary of English so if I want I can go to or shift to Merriam Webster dictionary or New Oxford American dictionary it's your choice so I'll I love this Oxford English dictionary so I'll keep it as it is I'll go back same with Arabic also you can go to this dictionary so the main concept is that you have to for the first time, you have to download dictionaries from uh, Kindle by going to this uh, dictionary. It will ask to download dictionaries. Go to download dictionaries and download as many dictionaries as possible for your Kindle. And then this options will come over here. And then you can shuffle which dictionaries you want to get enabled out of this. Or else uh, if it is just single language dictionary, by default it will come in in this page and it is already enabled whenever you read some book in that language that dictionary will get activated so this is how simple it is to uh, enable or download dictionaries in kindle so friends i hope you found this video useful if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this, to this channel infotainment to get more of such videos so till then keep watching infotainment see you again see you soon thank you